Hello everyone, today I'm going to be trying Taiwanese breakfast for the first time at Liang's Village, which is my favorite Taiwanese restaurant in the Bay Area. Around a year ago, I went to Liang's Village for dinner and I absolutely loved it. And I heard that earlier this year they started serving breakfast on the weekends, so I thought, why not try out some Taiwanese breakfast because it looks amazing, so let's go. I just placed my order here at Liang's Village and they came out with all the food really quickly. A couple of the items I've had before on their dinner menu, but for the most part, this is all brand new for me. The first item I'm gonna start off with is their black charcoal kurobuta pork bao. And I'm really curious about this one since I haven't had kurobuta pork since I was in Japan. Wow, this is fantastic. Seriously, all the food here is like top tier. The bun is really nice and fluffy. I love the black charcoal for the color, although I don't really taste it. This makes for a really aesthetic looking bao. And then the inner filling is amazing, and I can taste that it's kurobuta pork. It's got that really iconic, rich, and sweet, porky taste of kurobuta pork. And I also like that it's a lot of black pepper in there, and it really reminds me of just like a juicy and flavorful dumpling filling. In fact, this whole bao in general reminds me of a dumpling because of how juicy and moist it is. Now for these turnip cake fries and I'm really curious about these because it just looks like sliced up turnip cakes and I've had these fried turnip cakes for years every time I eat them some and I love these so I think this is gonna be pretty good. It comes with a little bit of dipping sauce but I'm gonna try it plain first. Oh, I promise you, when I'm serious and I say this, these are some of the best turnip cakes I've ever had. They're so perfectly fried because I love that they're not overly greasy. They have a really thin and crispy exterior, and I love how the inside isn't overly pasty either, and the flavor is just fantastic. But now I want to try some of it with the dipping sauce. Oh wow, the sauce levels it up. You gotta have it with the sauce. It's almost like a sweet and savory soy sauce. And the turnip cake fries are already salted on their own, but with the sauce, it definitely adds even more flavor. Next, I'm trying out their mini wonton soup, and I'm looking forward to this one because I've had their wontons in the past, and they are incredible. So I'm just gonna start off with this broth. It looks like a really light and clear broth. Oh, the broth is great. I love how it takes on the flavor of the seaweed that's on top, and I like that it's really light, so it's not super heavy or oily, and I think it's gonna be the perfect complement to go with some of the wontons. Oh, that's just a fantastic wonton. The wrapper is just velvety, soft, and delicate, and then you got a peppery pork filling. And if you've never had wonton soup for breakfast, I mean, it's just one of the most comforting fillings in the entire world. Now I'm gonna be going for their hot and savory soy milk, and I've never even heard of this, so I'm not really sure what to expect, but it's topped off with a little bit of pork floss and some Chinese donuts. But I just wanna start with a bite of the hot soy milk, and it looks like almost like a sort of a pudding. Oh, that is really interesting. The flavor of this is amazing. It just tastes like a fresh, homemade silken tofu because of its really soft and delicate texture. And on top of that, I love the extra savory flavor with the pork floss, which I know is really common for Taiwanese breakfast items. And this has this really unique, savory, almost pork jerky-like flavor. I also gotta get a bite of this with the yo chow, which is just like a savory Chinese donut. Oh, that donut definitely is a must. I mean, the donut in here just absorbs all the broth and it's just like an explosion of flavor and juiciness in your mouth. And while we're on the topic of soy milk, I got their cold soy milk for a drink. Mm. Oh, I just love the texture. It has a very thick viscosity and it just sort of coats your taste buds in this delicate soy flavor. And I just ordered it unsweetened. And I think that's a really nice compliment to all the food. Now for the minced pork rice. And this is one of my favorite dishes at Liang's Village. I've had it before as part of the dinner set, but this is my first time having a big bowl of minced pork rice. And I'm looking forward to just digging into this. Seriously, 
seriously, this will never disappoint and I couldn't be happier. He's got a fresh bowl of hot steaming rice covered in a savory ground pork. And I really love all the flavors of savory and it's also very sweet. And I definitely also appreciate their special secret ingredient that they use in here, which I can't tell you about. It also comes with one hard boiled tea, which is just like a flavored and seasoned egg. This is like cooked in a soy mixture and that's an amazing addition. And you also have some special pickled vegetables and this is just sort of like a dark green that's been pickled and that's a really pleasant salty and slightly slightly tangy flavor. Now for their mini red oil wontons and I love these as part of their dinner menu as well and this one is even better I would argue since it comes again with the Chinese donut but let's just start off with these wontons. I already know they're gonna hit good. These again are one of my favorite dishes here. I mean, I feel like I've already said that about multiple things already, but these are seriously like something you can't miss out on. It's the same wontons in a wonton soup, but I honestly prefer it better here. There's just like a flavor explosion. It's cooked in their signature chili oil, which is just made with plenty of garlic, which I taste just like a fried garlic sort of flavor. And then on top of that, you got soy and just a hint of vinegar for a little bit of tartness. Now, if you want some extra flavor, they even give you some vinegar and hot oil on the side you can just add into here. I'm also really looking forward to this yo tiao. The Chinese donut is going to be delicious when it's dumped into all the sauce that is just at the bottom of the bowl of all these wontons. Oh man, this yo tiao makes just for a killer breakfast. I love the texture of it. It's so light and airy. It's almost like a crispy, delicious pillow of donutty goodness. And then just dipped in that sauce. I mean, you get the savory soy flavor and then just that burning chili oil. I mean, this is awesome. I know this might not be what you think of your typical breakfast item, but man, this is really good any time of the day. Now for their sloppy explosion pancake. And I'm just really intrigued by the name because I love anything this sounds sloppy. I mean, it just sounds like it's covered in some sort of sauce and then it looks like it's stuffed full of filling. Oh, this is fantastic. I love just the combination of flavors. You have everything from the green onion pancake to the ground pork in there and a little bit of spinach. The sauce on here is incredible. It almost tastes similar to the sauce for the turnip fries. It's almost like a sweet soy glaze. And then on top of that, you got the ground pork. And my favorite part is the green onion pancake, which is just really nice and flaky since they use lard in it. And finally, I saved a really good dish for last. This is their breakfast wrap and this is their green onion pancake filled with a fried egg and once again, the yo chow. I really love the simplicity of this since there's not too much going on. You got the fried egg, the Chinese donut, and the green onion pancake. And to me, this just tastes like a breakfast sandwich on steroids. I mean, what is it there to love about a crispy green onion pancake filled with a fried donut in the middle, and then a salty and perfectly fried egg? And I think the only thing that would make this even better is if you just drizzle this with a little bit of hot oil. That's gonna make this even more tasty because I think their hot oil tastes pretty much good with anything. This was seriously an incredible first time trying a Taiwanese breakfast. I feel like if you're curious to try a Taiwanese breakfast, you gotta come here to Ling's Village because they definitely do it the best. I'm gonna be honest, after trying this Taiwanese breakfast, American breakfast, it is not gonna taste the same anymore. I know you got bacon, eggs, and pancakes, but why have that when you can have this delicious spread of authentic and tasty Taiwanese food? As always, I'll leave the information for Ling's Village in the description box down below, and you definitely gotta check it out for breakfast. They serve breakfast from Friday to Sunday and you definitely got to try it out. You're not going to be disappointed. Anyways, I really hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure if you did to give it a like and also make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.